All right, to the head, to head, and Marlon Gonzalez this is going to be at a catch weight of 150. Via Seca, for all intents and purposes, heading to lightweight at 155. Marlon Gonzalez, a huge featherweight, 71 inch reach, two inches taller than Via Seca, etched out of stone. What a night it's been for Via Seca, and to stay composed for his fight as we take a look at Gonzalez. A lot of pressure here. Gonzalez is the number one ranked Peruvian featherweight and lightweight. He's ranked number nine in all of Latin America as a featherweight. It's a brown belt in kickboxing. And his mother represented Peru as an Olympian volleyball player back in the day. So that's pretty cool. He comes from a family of Olympians. Via Seca changes angles, goes low. Gonzalez twists. Nice takedown defense for Gonzalez. Via Seca, as you'll see, he is thick. A lot of volume, muscular build. Yep, uh, this fight was originally... Tight clinch. Supposed to be at a higher weight class, uh, 145 pounds, but they agreed on a catch weight at 150. Now Gonzalez to the back. Peru and Chile. Chile borders Peru to the south. Hips out, break the hands, face oh. your opponent. Big knee. Big, huge underhook for Seca. He's good. Needs some better head position, though. These fighters respect each other a lot. They said it as much in their press conference. This is a national pride thing. Via Seca um, could be dissecting Marlos Gonzalez, but it looks like uh, Gonzalez is defending the takedown well and, and definitely giving him a run for his money. Via Seca said he felt strong, calm, and knew his objective. He, he, he wants things to be different from the Copa. He says, I will come ready, I will pressure from the beginning, and he is doing exactly what he said he would. Single leg. He is the aggressor early on. Trying to change to a double. Zell Huber's got a nice balance. Uh, Zell Huber, I'm so sorry. Gonzalez has got a nice balance. Good center of gravity via Seca. Gonzalez not budging, though. Jack up that underhook, boy, yep. keep walking Three to your underhook under. side. Knee kind of close to the groin area from Villaseca. Got to be careful there, Gonzalez reverses. Chile unbeaten here tonight, 2-0. Oh. Peru's having a great night, too. Could be a lot better if Marlon Gonzalez. Marlon is trying to clasp those hands together. He's got double unders. And as you can see, blood from the elbow, and Gonzalez sensed that goes right to that right eye again. Big knee for Villaseca, and they're back in the open. Gonzalez, a very decorated kickboxer. Yeah, little, little, little cut underneath the left eye of Villaseca. And Gonzalez rubbing his nose. He took some, he took some action there, and he's rubbed it a couple times. So some discomfort. See if he, uh, Gonzalez lets it go here. This is what we saw from him in the Copa, in the center of La Jaula, but not throwing. Yes. Big huge throwing. bombs. Big huge bombs by Villaseca. When will we see the real Marlon Gonzalez, or is this the real Marlon Gonzalez? Absorbing pressure. If he fights anything of what I've seen in his highlights, he's a killer, straight up. It is it's unbelievable. The highlights are eye-opening. But here in the big spots, he has to show he's the same guy. Again, being very cautious. Again, this fight is in diapers, but still similar traits to last December. Big uh, uppercut via Seca throwing bombs, right hooks, left hooks. Via Seca doing all the aggression as he said he would. For sure. And talk about, we were talking to one of the other fighters with having big, huge legs. Villaseca's legs look like they're tree trunks. Two straight rights, and the crowd reacts. Now Villaseca, he felt those, and now he's backpedaling. Back to the center. And Gonzalez's feet quicken. It's changing to orthodox again. Good, the quick hands from Gonzalez. That's what you want to see. That's the explosive Gonzalez we saw. And that's that kickboxer that we know of him to be. 
just need to see some more of that. And withdraws. The Aseka comes in, route one. Ooh, roundhouse. Nice spinning roundhouse, beautiful. Big, huge punches. And you know, the, the length of Villaseca is shorter. So he, I love how he finds a way in. Kind of got like a Mike Tyson-esque type of way to jump in the party and throw these big, massive hooks that land every time. And, and I like to see that. End of round one is here. Last flurry for Villaseca. He started the round, guns blazing. Gonzalez getting involved a little bit more as the round wore on. I think Villaseca won that round. What do you think? I think so, too. Yeah, no, your energy is going solely on your training partners when it needs to be on yourself. You know, there's got to be some time where you just reserve for yourself because this is a selfish sport and no one can get in there and do it for you. So you kind of need all of the attention on yourself. And sometimes you can waste all your energy screaming and yelling and getting all hyped up for somebody else's fight, but not realizing that you got to go and get in there and actually get it done too. And he's pouring it on now and you can see that he realizes that that's what he needs to do. Yeah, he doesn't want to have any regrets, but if he loses this, there will be some. Definitely. I don't, I don't think he would have changed anything. I think he's just maybe feeling like, okay, no more horsing around. I got to get this over with, and I got to actually make the fight ugly and do what I got to do, however that looks. That said, when's that aggression from Gonzalez going to come? He can be patient now, but at some point, he's got to kick that into fifth gear. Oh, uh, Gonzalez tried to say that that was to the back of the head, but the guy's coming forward and throwing bombs and hooks and stuff. They're wrapping around the back of his head. He's not intentionally trying to hit him in the back of the head. Combate Peru. It has been memorable. It has been historic. Glad you could join us on the zone for our exclusive English coverage. Max Bredos, Juliana Pena. Don't worry, folks. Campbell McLaren will be back here next Friday. June and uh, July and August, we are loaded with cards almost every week here on Combate. And I love Villaseca's style. It's just like bombs, 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 hooks, hooks, hooks that are trying to wipe your chin right off your face. And uh, I like to see that. I, I, it's got like a reminiscent of a Mike Tyson to me where they're just trying to take your head right off your shoulders and and um, those hooks are his best punches. By the way, as critical as we've been of Villaseca, he has taken this round by the scruff of the neck again. And now Gonzalez, uh -oh. after two minutes, starts. This is an eye poke. The ref's not going to stop it. Now, he's letting those arms fly. This is a critical juncture. If Villaseca can get enough output here and get this round, too, he's in a very good spot. Big hooks and a big knee. Ooh, he got met with a, a hook of his own. Gonzalez. Gonzalez is trying to pillar up to try to stop those punches, but it's not. There we go. Letting loose. And remember, in Copa Combate, it was one round. Oh, so. true. I forgot about that. Different story here as they uh, make their move towards round two. Villaseca, one and one in his combate career, 14 and five in his distinguished MMA career. Gonzalez needs to clasp those hands together, pull his opponent off of the jaula, and get that trip, get that body lock. Big knee upstairs. Spectacular night. We just saw Danielle Zell Huber win in the main event to improve to 8 0. Calling out a shot to be the inaugural 155 pound champ here in Combate Americas. Maybe one of these guys will join him at 155, but they got to show something. Villaseca showed a lot. Gonzalez waiting at bay. Definitely. The highlight reel, Gonzalez, we have not seen. And you can hear the crowd there in Lima getting a little restless. You hear some whistles, some jeers. Peppering Villaseca, and Gonzalez lets him. Nicely done. Reverse by Gonzalez, trying to take the back, but Villaseca back on the feet. And it's going to be hook central if he gets unleashed. <laughs> but Gonzalez is smart and keeps him tied up in the clinch. Little shoulder bump from Villaseca. Heading towards the final minute of round two. Marla Gonzalez says, representing my country, a huge emotion. Ever since I was young, I wanted to take the Peruvian flag over my shoulder. It was motivation to fight in your country. He needs to find a little more. He's got to dig a little deeper here. 
be a second needs to let go of that head, let go of that overhook and get an underhook. He needs to jack it up to the sky, to the moon, Alice, and walk to his underhook side because he's trapped up against the howler. Dated reference. I know, I'm sorry. It's such a yeah sometimes. <laughs> I know. I should have been born in a different in a different time. All right. Ty Clinch separates. Yaseka comes across. 30 seconds to go. The ball is in Marlon Gonzalez's courts, folks. How much does he want it? Marlon Gonzalez needs to pour it on here with a big elbow. I love that. I want to see more of that. Villaseca hoping the beast goal will be pouring and oh. Chile goes 3-0. and oh. Beautiful elbow by Marlon Gonzalez. And he's been able to control Villaseca up against La Jaula this entire time. That beautiful overhand elbow is gorgeous. Uh, whoever's in the corner of Marlon Gonzalez has to come up with a specific game plan here. What would yours be? My specific game plan would be let your hands go. Quit waiting on this guy to get in your face and throw these bombs. Let your hands go. Time to bring it. An embrace between two friends. We mentioned the respect. Yeah, they definitely both said that they got respect for each other, but this is <laughs> just a country, country pride thing, you know? It's all business. Puro negocios. Puro negocio. We do got to make shirts like that. I know. We got to make a, a few. Seller. We got to, well, uh, we'll start with like 100. <laughs> No, no, no. A good cotton. No. Yeah, well, one, I'm talking, we've got to make a few catchphrase shirts. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Oh, for sure. I love those hooks from Villaseca. And I love the elbows from Marlon Gonzalez. Both of these fighters displaying a great um, amount of technique. But I need one of them to pull the trigger more than the other. May the best man win. Villaseca, upstairs. I feel like both of these fighters are letting the fight kind of slip through their fingers. And one of these judges is gonna make them cry, so. See, there's a good place for Gonzalez to follow up, and he doesn't. Yeah. That elbow, though, is beautiful. There we go. Letting those hands fly, as Juliana suggested. Villaseca now holds up. Now, this is a posture that suggests Villaseca feels, all right, I've done my work. See, and this is not a resting position. You have double underhooks. What are you waiting for? Go. And then he gives it up. Ah, shame. That's a mistake. The crowd does their part. Now, Villaseca, you haven't been able to take him down. You're not going for any takedowns. You're kind of resting there on La Jaula. Get off of La Jaula. Jack that underhook up. If, if you're not going to jack it up, then it's not an underhook. You might as well just let go of it and overhook at that point. Hips out, face your opponent. Hips out, hand fight. Break those hands, hips out, be strong in the hips. All your powers in your hips, go for a ride now. All right, now he's got the back of a little ankle hold and Kimura. almost the Kimura attempt, which Heel didn't hook. quite, now the ankle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, use it to sweep. Away he goes. Get on him, stay on him, his corner saying. There you go. That was the Via Seca corner. They're trying to encourage him. Stay in. Keep encouraging him. Upstairs and down. Gonzalez. Gonzalez getting has the knees a in. Good over the top right elbow. When he gets in those close quarters, he's found a home for it every time. Via Seca pushes forward. Oh, big huge bombs That's and a big leg time. kick. Big time response from the Chileno. <laughs> Villaseca is an ox. You can just see he can absorb a lot. Yeah. He's been through a lot of fights in his day, not his first rodeo. He looks a little gassed. You can see him. He's, he's gasping for big, huge breaths. But I, I have not seen a, a, a strike from Gonzalez that would tell me that that would be anywhere close to putting Villaseca to the ground. No way. This fight's going to the judges unless I see some sort of definitive Villas change. Villaseca looking for that clock. He may have done enough. I would think he has, but it's not its not in that comfort zone yet. I know I always get upset when the referee separates the fighters and say that, you know, they just want to be a part of the party and, and, and get in there, but Ball, big nice. sweep. I know you love it. I love it. I love it. You're so right. I was going to say, Jason, get in there, separate them, but I'm glad I didn't. 
He probably considered it. Minute 20. Gonzalez looking again in a favorable position, which he has not enjoyed much at all. Okay, There's... Gonzalez, to get a big, huge, heavy guy like this down took three rounds. Make it worth it, dude, because you're in your hometown. You do have that hometown advantage, but you got to sell it, and you have one minute to do it. You can do anything for a minute. Let it go. Let it fly. This is your chance. You're not going to get another one. Elbow go. drop again. Go. Can't get any daylight there. And he can't get any daylight because he's letting him suck up his hands and lock up his hands. Use your kneecap to push down the bicep of Villaseca so that you can trap his arm and get your punches off. 30 seconds left here in round three. It's headed towards the judges unless something can be pulled out of the hat, particularly by Gonzalez. Maybe Villaseca from his back. Don't let him up. Ankle. Do not let him up. He let him up. Oh, and yeah, now yeah. Gonzalez going down. Villaseca ends Ooh. the round flying. Precious Ten seconds. final impression. Oh, Lord. The crowd gets in. The fists are off. The guards are down. Oh, man. Best action of the fight. Vamos, aye, 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 but aye, there's aye. no time. I wish we had more of that earlier. For sure. I know it was a good fight. Okay, get off me, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Can't be too friendly. Damas y caballeros, después de completar tres vueltas, este es el veredicto final. Ladies and gentlemen, after going all three rounds, the official scorecard reads as follows. El juez A anotó 29 a 28 a favor de Villaseca. Judge A scores it 29 to 28 in favor of Villaseca. El juez B, 29 a 28 a favor de Gonzalez. Judge B scores it 29 28 in favor of Gonzalez. Y el juez C anotó 30 a 27. Judge C scores it 30 to 27. In favor of the winner by way of split decision. A favor del ganador. Por decisión dividida. De Lima, Peru. Oh. Marlon Gonzalez.